So you might be trying to figure out how you can set up your eSIM on your iPhone 15 or iPhone 15 Pro. Now, doing this is very basic, but the first thing to keep in mind is that this is going to be basically dependent on your carrier. You will have to get your eSIM technology, you know, QR code or whatever from your carrier in order to even set it up. So keep that in mind. The first thing you want to start off by doing, though, is you want to go and make your way over to your iPhone settings. And then what you want to do is you want to click on your cellular settings, which is right here. So tap on the cellular and you'll see this little pop-up come up. Now our iPhone 15s no longer have SIM card trays. So this is the only way we can basically go through and essentially set up our cell. So what we want to do is tap on set up cellular and this next panel is going to come up. So we have a couple of different options. We can set up our cellular via a QR code or transferring from a nearby iPhone. So we have a few options here. If I want to transfer from a nearby iPhone, what I can do it tells you right here to transfer a phone number from another iPhone. Make sure your iPhone is nearby, unlocked, has Bluetooth on, and is running iOS 16 or later. So what I can do now is I can make my way over to my other older iPhone if I wanted to, and I can go ahead and basically make my way over to my system settings here. And most of the time, it's already going to be able to show up here, and I should be able to transfer my SIM card from this specific iPhone, my older one, to my newer one. So it's also going to have to make sure you have Bluetooth on, and it's running iOS 16 or later. So keep that in mind. So that's the first way. Now the other option is by using a QR code. So this is what I talked about earlier. If you have like T-Mobile, if you have whatever, if you call them and you let them know, hey, I wanna transfer my physical SIM card to an eSIM, they're basically going to be able to give you a little QR code. And from that QR code, all you're going to have to do is basically hover over that QR code and take a picture of it just like this within this application. And then it'll basically come up and show up as a normal QR code. Or if that doesn't work, you can enter your details manually you can go here, enter all this information for you, you know, manually if you want to. And that's basically how you can set up your eSIM inside of your iPhone. So it's a very, very basic process. It really doesn't take too much time, but that's basically how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.